Welcome back to Little Bits Kitchen. Today we're going to make a version of what a lot of people call pig picking cake or pig out cake. I did an earlier vision of it, or version of this and needed to make some changes because all of the manufacturers of soup and pudding and uh, amounts of cans have all changed since that original recipe. So we're going to do this one today. It's going to be easy Tahiti cake. Yep, made some changes. First of all, preheat your oven to 325. Really grease your pan well. It's okay to use a cooking spray, which I've done, but this cake needs to be well greased. Okay, so what I have in my bowl is a classic yellow cake mix. It's Duncan Hines. I like Duncan Hines mixes. They seem to go together real well and um, stay nice and moist. So I have that in our bowl. And I also have a small box of instant vanilla pudding. So we're gonna kind of mix those up. Get rid of the lumps. Okay, then we're going to add four eggs that you just kind of got to mix together a little bit. When you do this, it kind of cuts down on the actual mixing up of your batter, which helps it stay a lot moister. So we'll add those. You need a half a cup of vegetable or canola oil. Then you need a large can of mandarin oranges in light syrup. This is a 15 ounce can and I've drained them and I'm going to put the juice from those oranges into our cake. We're going to save the oranges till right at the end. We're also at the end, we're going to add a cup of finely chopped nuts. So we're going to take our ingredients, get them incorporated here. I think you're going to really like this one because it does stay nice and moist. And then with the ingredients we're adding, I just decided we're going to call this a Tahiti cake. You don't need to mix this as long as it has on the original cake mix box. Just make sure that it's really mixed together well and that most of your little tiny lumps are gone. Okay, now we're going to mix in our can of drained oranges and our one cup of nuts. And just kind of blend those into your cake mix. get pretty well incorporated. Usually by the time you're done with this part, your oven should be preheated and you'll be ready to pour it into your pan and get it ready to go. Step away here just for a second. Get my spatula. Make sure we get all those oranges into our cake. Okay, pour that into your 13 by 9 pan. It's a nice thick batter and you're going to love this cake. My daughter had this for her birthday cake every year. She loved this cake. So we just made it extra special. I'm going to 
smooth it out. Mostly because the nuts and the oranges are in there. You want to have some in every bite. Okay, so we have our cake done and we're going to put it into our oven and we'll be back in about 35 minutes. Hi, welcome back. Our cake is done. I actually cooked it for 35 minutes um, until it got a nice caramely brown color. That's what you want. Be sure and test it with a toothpick and make sure there's no dough on the pick when you finally take it out of the oven. That's pretty important. So now that our cake is here, it's very moist cake, set it aside. I'm going to bring in the topping. The topping it just goes so well with this uh, Tahiti cake. First, I poured out a pineapple. In pineapple juice, it's the 20 ounce can. You don't drain it. You want the juice in there. Next, instant pudding. Vanilla, or you could use French vanilla if you'd like, but, but I like just the vanilla flavor, the small package. So we're going to add that in our first step. Every bit. And you can mix that with your pineapple. Make sure there's no lumps. Pretty soon here, thicken up. So just keep stirring, just to make sure you don't have any lumps. Okay, it's starting to thicken up now. I'll put this aside. Now, I have a large uh, whipped topping. You're going to want to get this out of your fridge ahead of time, maybe when your cake is cooling. And this is just half of it. I've stirred it up. So you want to add one cup of whipped topping. And you're going to kind of fold it in. You really can't do anything wrong with this cake. It's easy, cool, just tastes tropical. It's great after a barbecue or a picnic. And you and your family are going to love this one. It takes a little bit of stirring, but it'll come together. We usually have this in the summer. Uh, usually in July. But it's always so cool and something to look forward to and it's just not very sweet. That's I think what makes it so good with uh, with a barbecue or uh, picnic. It just works out really great. Okay, so we'll bring our cake back. We're going to just drop spoonfuls of this right over the cake. And this is going to firm up when you chill it. All over your cake. Give it a push around there. off. Oops, a little more at that end, don't I? Okay. So there we go. We have our tropical cake. And I think you and your family are going to love it. And we'll come back when we slice a piece. <laughs>